Hey guys, it's me, Kira Sarah, and today is a very special day because I'm collabing with LPS Cupcake Lover. So please go check her out. I will try to put a link in the description to her video. And um, today's video is going to be a beautiful video because, you know, beautiful. And it's going to be an LPS costumes thing. So, um... Yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and let's get started with the first costume. So my first costume will be an LPS spider. I know there is an LPS spider, but if the other LPS want to be a spider, then okay, let them be a spider. So let's do this. So the materials you'll need are red paper, black paper, any kind of tape. This is like really bad sticky tape, and cotton balls. So the first thing you want to do... Is, oh, oh yeah, you also need scissors because you're pretty much going to need scissors for every single costume. So, what you're going to do first is cut out strips of black. Strips. Yeah. That thin. Okay, so you cut them strips. <laughs> Don't make them really long, but like... You could do like about that and that'll be good because you want it to be able to bend. So then you cut it and you make eight more. Well, not eight more. You're going to need to make seven more of these. And then, yeah. So I'll be right back. So once you have eight strips, you drop the camera. <laughs> okay, so you're not you're not supposed to drop the camera like I did. So, um, what you got to do now is you got to bend it in the middle, kind of like this, kind of thing, kind of, and I'm going to make that a little wider so that it looks better, and you want it to be able to overlap the other one, so you're going to do another one, and then you're going to put it on over that, so it's going to be like this, and then you're going to do that to all the legs and put four on each side. So you got to do this and make it look better than I did. And you got to put four on each side, like I said before, because I like saying things again. And you try to make them as good as you possibly can. And you can make them really skinny or you can make them like really thick. But I think spiders have skinny legs, so yeah. wonder how they hold their fat bodies up. Anyways, um... Yeah, you're going to just put four on each side. Just bend. Overlap. You're also going to need to make one extra. So I'll tell you why in a minute. Bend. That's a really short leg. And then last but not least, bend. So now that you got them all overlapping and beautiful, you want to make them like squish them inwards like this. And you could always rebend them if you want. And then you just tape this around it. So you're going to bend this back. Like I'll do it in a minute. So you're going to do one side and then you're going to tape it in the back. And I got really crappy tape, so I'm going to use that. Yep. Now that you got one side done, you do the other side and put it, like you put the the legs on top of the tape. So that's what I'm going to do, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I got that. And make sure that all the bends are upward, like facing upward. So now you're going to get some tape, and then you're going to tape that in place, and then fold this on over, and then tape it again. Okay, so you're not done with this part. Now you gotta measure it around your LPS waist. You gotta make sure that you could take it on, or put it on and take it off, not take it on, what the freak. And then you take it off of the LPS. And then you tape it on like this, or you could glue it, and gluing would be easier, but at the moment I'm only using tape. See if it will work. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape down the middle, and then I'm gonna be done. So now you're done with the legs. So you could um, bend it downward better, like I didn't do. 
but you could bend it down better and you could fix it up a bit. You could even put another strip of black on the back if you wanted to make a little back, which I'm probably going to upgrade it later. Um, you're just going to bend the legs down so that it stays in place. You could even use pipe cleaners to make the legs movable and poseable, you know. And yeah, so you're pretty much done. This just looks like wings right now. Wee. Okay, so on to the eyes. So you know your LPS already has two eyes, so you're going to make two more pairs of eyes. Because professional eyes. So you're going to go over to red and move your other craft stuff. Because it's a mess. You draw some little, like, shapes. Do two of each, making them each smaller, and then you pretty much do that. And then you're going to cut them out. Yes, that last one was a little horrible, but that's okay. But you could also add, like, a little dot to make it look like a pupil or something like that. Sorry, my hair shadow. <laughs> and then you're going to cut it out. And for each eye, you're going to put a tiny little folded up piece of tape on there. Or if you have double-sided tape, that would be better. So you're going to get a tiny piece of tape, and you're going to put it on the back. And then you're going to stick it to their head. Yeah. Then you're done with the eyes. On to the beautiful skirt. With the cotton. Cotton. The cotton. So the first step is to unravel the cotton. So going to do the cotton. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. But yeah. So you find a weak place and you unroll it like this and it's really fun apparently. And then you got your cotton. Now you're going to put it around your LPS's waist and then you're going to measure and then you're going to pull off the excess and you're going to like pull it around and then just, you could leave it there, but you could also tie it around, kind of like this. And then you're done with that. So then you're done with this costume, you just gotta put the little legs on. The little legs. See? Spider. See, fashion. So yeah, then you're done with the first costume. Moving on to the second one. Okay, for so this for the second one you're gonna need some toothpicks, some glue, and some tissue paper. So yeah. I don't know why I have cotton balls, but yeah. So if you already have an accessory uh little cast, then you could use that, which would be easy. But I made this one in I would explain how to do it. It's pretty much paper mache, but first you gotta put plastic wrap on their paws or whatever, and then you just paper mache it pretty much. And if they have like hoofs, I have like a different version for that. You just make a little hot glue stand, put it on some like in between some foam, you smash it down, and it like fits the hoof, and then you paint it, and then you glue it together. But I can't do the cow right now, and I don't know what happened to it. So, you're pretty much just going to do this. And for me, I could easily just put it on. A little paw. Well, it's the side. Whoopsie. And then, now you're going to make some crutches. So you got them two picks. You're going to measure about where you want it. And I want it right here where my nails are. And then you're going to cut it at that point. Or you could just measure it just in case. So I'm not going to because I'm going to just hold it like this. And it's where this part of my nail is not down here. That would be way too short. It would be right there. So you're going to cut two pieces. And then you're going to cut two smaller pieces about the same height. Except for like maybe a little smaller. So you're going to cut it. And then I'll be right back. So now that you got it cut out, you're going to glue them together. Usually it would be easier to use hot glue, but since I'm trying to do a challenge where I don't use hot glue, and I kind of don't have any right now, so um, you're going to glue them together down the middle, 
and then you'll pretty much be done. But you could also color it with Sharpie if you wanted to, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to glue it together and let it dry, and then I'll be right back. Since that didn't work, I'm going to use tape. Even though glue would be easy, but it's taking forever, so I'm just going to use this, and I'm kind of in a hurry today. So, yeah, so I'm going to tape them together and kind of like in strips, and I'll be right back. It's better to have rounded um, toothpicks, but if you don't, then you could just trim off the excess. Now that you're done with the two main parts, I want to add a little bling. So you're going to use some tissue paper, and you're going to cut a strip. Like, pretty much any size you want. I'm going to do it this big. And then, yeah. I'm having troubles, guys. Yeah, so you're just going to do that, or you could just rip it. Beautiful. So, once you have your strip, you're going to get your LPS. Wrap it around one eye slash ear thing you could always cut it or you could just do this and then tape it in the back and you're done and that's that costume on to the next one for this third and beautiful costume it's going to be a little scary it's bloody mary so i'm gonna use her to make bloody mary so you're gonna need a strip of white fabric you could even use more fabric, but I'm using tissue. Some red nail polish or paint. Any kind of pipe cleaner. I would prefer red or black because that's what she wears. So, um, yeah. And so those are the materials you'll need. And, of course, you'll most likely need this. But if you're good at ripping things, then you don't need scissors. So, um, yeah. So let's get started. Okay, so for the veil, you're going to grab your strip of fabric. Put it around their head. It's going to be a little hard for me, but I'm going to do this. Tie it around their head or just measure it. Then you tie it around the back of their head. And then, yeah. Yeah, it looks a little weird, but I bet it will look better on a short hair or like a collie or something. Um, so the next step is you're going to get some tissue paper, which I got a square of. And you're going to take this off because you're supposed to take it off. And you go on here and you tape it in place, which I'm going to do in a minute. You can even make it poseable, which I'm doing because the fabric broke, which is sad. But you do this, you flip it over the top, and then you could cut it, and yeah. So I'm going to trim it around the edges, and then I'll show you what it's like. And for a scary effect, you can rip off the bottom. Just to make it look like it's been worn and torn all the time. So I'm going to get rid of that. And yeah, so then there's that. You try it on your pet. Make sure that it looks pretty cool. I guess it looks cool, but um, I'm going to have to fix over there more, so I'm going to do that, because it looks like she's George Washington. And you also have to tape this back in place so that it stays secure and happy, because that you don't want to see that, and it doesn't you don't want it to pop off, so that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to tape it in place. Now that you got the main part of the veil done, you're going to get some red nail polish, and add some splatters of, quote-unquote, blood on it. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'll be right back. And you can even make little paw prints, and it will look like some people have been touching her um, little veil. So, yeah. And you're done with the veil. So now moving on to the skirt dress part of it. Yeah. See that the paw? So the next step is to throw your LPS, no, <laughs> you're going to measure around the LPS with this, and then you make sure that it can overlap, and then you cut it. Just like I said to do in the collars episode video thing. So, 
You do the same thing, but you make it around their waist. You're going to get something like this. Next step is to tear off a, a piece of a square of your tissue paper or whatever. You cut it or just tear it and to it at least like that you could go around this side too that's what i'm gonna do and then you want it to be fairly long and long enough to do like what we did with the veil so you're going to tape it in place you fold the tissue over and you tape the place again making sure not to cover the whole thing you just want the edges to poke out so yeah and now you're technically done with the skirt part, but you're going to add some little paw prints and little, quote unquote, blood on it, like you did with the veil. So pretty much it's the same steps, but it's measuring different parts. So you're going to put some nail polish on the skirt, and then you'll be done. And there's the skirt, and I'm going to try it all on the pet. And then you're done with the Bloody Mary costume. On to our last one. Now our last one. So everyone's going to be like, yeah, fan. But um, we're going to make Harry Potter. So we're going to use him. It's going to be special. So what you'll need for this is a little piece of black paper. Some of these if you want to make one of them. Some preferably black um, pipe cleaners, and then some nail polish if you don't have the right colors. So, yeah, let's get started. So what you're going to do first is you're going to go, like, there's different ways to do this, but you're pretty much going to make glasses, so you're going to do two circles. One, go over there, do the other circle, but mine is being stupid, so, yeah. You're going to go inwards and then you do the other circle go down the middle and then you can um, stop here but if you have longer ones it will be easier but um, you just go out to the side under the circle make sure that it's not visible and then you got like one side, but you might have to tape it on to his head. So yeah, there's easier ways to do this. Hello. And then you're going to bend the sides. Then you could either just put them on like this, or you could tape them on, which I have to tape them on, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tape them on. And of course you can make them a different color with nail polish, but I'm going to just leave them blue for now. And then I'll do black later. And now that I tipped it on, now we're going to move on to his little scar. So we got this. We're going to cut out a lightning bolt. By the way, you need scissors because, you know, scissors are cool. So we're going to cut out a little lightning bolt shape that would fit on his little head. Then you're going to pretty much tape it on, or you could do other stuff, but I'm going to tape it on. And yes, this is a horrible lightning bolt. Don't, don't, please, just don't blame me. It's small enough to go on his little forehead. And you're technically done, but you could add a little wand, which is what I'm going to do. So, this next step is you cut a piece that you want that's long enough for you for a wand. Just cut it. Make sure it doesn't go flying. And you could round off the edges, make it you could sand it down to make it different. You can do anything you want, but this is you're technically done. So yeah, there's your Harry Potter. You could add a little badge if you wanted to. I know I didn't use nail polish, but yeah. And this is kind of long. And here are the finished results. Boom. Comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up. And check out LPS Cupcake Lover. Bye!